everyone, it is Andrea, and today I'm coming at you with a plan with me, which I have not filmed one in a while. I filmed this base and actually the, uh, like, the other base, the next one, quite a while ago, but I <clears throat> just haven't had the things I need slash haven't, you know, did the do. So I am using the Rugrats kit this week. It was a, um, like a pop mystery and I'm obsessed with it. I decided to use it this week because this was the week of Kane's birthday. So I thought that would be a perfect little reason to use it. Not that we need a reason to use a Rugrats kit, you know, it's just very, very cute. And that is the general consensus of it. So I am here for the said vibes of how stinking cute it is. I decided to go with the sparkly hollow as the main foil and then for a fun foil that is added in there i did go with two fun foils from planahanna the first one is a sparkly purple which i believe is a all the time foil and then there's sparkly green which i think was a foil of the month but might be a foil that's currently in shop i don't know she has like 60 foils i really cannot keep up with all of that so that is kind of the base in a nutshell. Um, I did layer two different bougie, did I do three? No, I did two. The two different bougie boxes with the two different designs. So you kind of had like a mixed metal underlay moment type situation. Um, and I think it turned out very, very cute. So let's go ahead and get into the day by day. Okay, so first things first is I am gonna put on the um, date covers because I didn't have my custom multi whenever my um, from Planahanna whenever I did um, this base so I didn't have the date numbers which these date numbers are in sparkly hollow in font number 15 which is like my new favorite font if you didn't know you know I am color blocking this week which I think will be very very cute and yeah I should have made these um date numbers a little bit smaller but you know what you live and you learn you live and you learn so let's go ahead in to the day by day actually first what we need to do is put the July up here because I did add that onto my custom multi because why not have something that matches there? You know, I think it's cool. All right, so on Monday, this was a while ago for me considering today is, it's literally one month from the 8th. It is the 8th I'm filming this. So one day before I'm putting this live. So <clears throat> on Monday, this week Theo had summer camp, so he was not home. Um, and uh, I'm trying to think what I want to do. So Nick and I did go to the good old he she be I feel like I'm like so far away from my planner I need to add like one more extender onto the arm of my tripod because it's a little too far away so for that I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a little shopping icon along with a with Nick um afterwards I did work for a bit um, you know, as I do every single day, as I do work. And for that, I think I'm going to go ahead and grab this and then just go ahead and trim it to make it fit a little bit better. So let's do kind of like this. I'm like kind of shaky. I'm not sure why, but I did film a vlog though this week. So I feel like I have like been talking to a camera just haven't been like actually talking to the camera. So for work, I'm gonna grab something from the doodle sampler, which is, I honestly try and use the doodle sampler most always for everything, just because I don't feel like like running through all of my doodles and trying to find something. So we're gonna stick that in there. And then I do have a good old little uh, work script. And then afterwards, um, the Zagesses came over to the house because Chris was supposed to go to a concert with Nick to see MXM Dune, but um, after, you know, they hung for a while, I think we also needed to film me and Hannah, but we didn't. It was like a kind, it was just, it's like a not working out kind of day, you know? So um, 
Chris didn't end up going to the concert, but we were going to have a girls' night, but he didn't go, so it was, like, a whole thing. But anyways, Nick went by himself. He's like, Andrea, do you want to go? And I was like, mm, no, I don't want to go. Now, I was like, I, like, I don't mind the music, but I don't really want to, like, it was, like, not in the mood. I just wanted to go to bed, actually. So then I did make chicken Caesar wraps for dinner, which are always a five-star banger. They were very, very yummy. And I took a bath then, which we love a good bath. At least I do. So I'm going to go ahead. Actually, hmm, I'll use the little candle because that always just reminds me of relaxation. This was pre-scribblers, I guess, and pre doodle too which feels like honestly 17,000 years at this point so we're gonna go ahead and do this for taking a bath and then I just doom scrolled on my phone for a bit and I was like delirious because I was so tired like laughing over reels and like crying over reels but like not crying because I was sad but crying because like I was just thinking everything was so funny this night for some reason oh no but honestly I love it for myself. So let's go ahead and slap and clap this on here. For scrolling on my phone, I don't worry. You know what? I have this old school phone. That's kind of cute, right? Just stick that on there. Stick this down. And then I'm going to grab the Doom scroll here. That looks very cute. Um. On Tuesday, I was super moody. Um, Nick was, like, really annoying me. I don't really remember why, but, like, I was very, very moody this day. So, I'm just going to go ahead and grab a little star icon. And I have a little sticker that says moody. I went to Target because I was like, I just need a chai. I don't want a coffee today. I want a chai and they were actually out of chai which was sad so then I went to Walmart for what I don't remember it's been a whole month but for something so we're gonna put in Walmart and then I will do like a little shopping bag for that because I'm assuming I bought something and then I just put in that I was organizing my life um, it says I also was working on work stuff and BG Girly stuff. So for that, I'm just going to cut this. What was I working on? I don't know. I'm very behind on BG Girly stuff, honestly. We haven't had a girl's day in about 100 years. <sighs> it's just the way the cookie crumbles. I was thinking about where the red color come from. Oh, this is before Doodle too, so it was an extra color. Duh. All right, let's put it in here. for organizing my life. I should have one of those days. I feel like I've just been so like, I get very like enveloped in certain things and then I'm like, everything else can go to the wind. Um, and then for dinner, I did make crunch wraps this night and they were a huge failure. I didn't have taco seasoning, so I tried to like whip up some of my own and it was not very good. And then, um, did that and then I also decided instead of getting what they call like tostadas I think I got Doritos because well I asked Nick to get Doritos and he ended up getting the like orange ones like the nacho ones I don't really like those but also I don't think any Doritos would have worked because I need I do need my doodles <laughs> let me grab them real quick because um the Doritos just got, like, really soggy fast. So that's probably why they use tostadas. <laughs> so now I know, and I will do it correctly next time. Also, it's just, like, harder to assemble in general. Um, So, yeah, let's go ahead and grab some kind of, like, taco thing. I will definitely do it correctly next time. Just this time. Oops-a-daisy. Um... I'm trying to see if there's like a crunch wrap. Let's use these like little quesadilla things because they're cute. And afterwards, I just hung out with Nick and read my book in the PM, which I don't know what I was reading. Not sure. Let's put 
that in here. I did cut this box to make it a little small. I really have to like reach home. Maybe, maybe I put up my chair a little bit. It'll be like, yeah, it's a little bit better. I'm not like as trying to, I don't have long arms, so it's hard sometimes. So Crunchwrap fail. I have a little Crunchwrap sticker. And then for reading and hanging with Nick, I do have a read sticker. On Wednesday was Mr. Kane's birthday. So I wanna go ahead and put that in. I'm gonna stick this in here. Gonna use a little icon for that. I feel like I never get to use a little present icon, so let's go ahead and plop her off. And then I do have a Kane script for his birthday. I did run errands with Nick this day. So I'm just gonna do a little fancy label here for that. And I do have a little custom of Nick and I. I do have like custom couples, not custom couples, but I do have couples in the shop, but this is just a custom I had me just for fun. Um, so we ran errands and um, we went to Snooze for brunch, which was super, super yummy. So for that, I'm going to grab one of these like rounded boxes because I do love them very much. And I am going to go into my breakfast section and grab a little egg plate because that's where I get what I get everywhere for breakfast. What is your go to breakfast? order. I feel like everyone has one. Or do you just like get something new every single time, no matter where you go? Let me know. Then I took a huge, super long nap, um, which again, we love. So for that, we're just going to plop her in for a nap. Um, for a nap, I think I have something under sleep I can use. Let's use these blue little bunny slippers and do a little nap. And then this night, Nick made me steak, which was super yummy. I think we had steak and baked potatoes, which I need to make baked potatoes. I need to make baked potatoes more often because they're really good and really easy if you do them in the air fryer. I feel like they come out the best. I feel like they just never cook right in the... Um, air fryer. I mean, in the regular oven. I feel like I they just never get good for me or maybe they just take way too long. I don't know. So Nick cooked me dinner. So he made me steak. I'm trying to look for an icon. We'll just use the little, actually I'll use this bigger fork and knife. Knife and fork. Afterwards, I did work late and I was so tired this night and ready for bed by the time I was done. So for that, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this a little bit shorter because I wanna see all of those pretty, pretty underlays. And for going to bed or working late, I'll just use this really cute little sticker sheet from the doodle. I feel like I'm like kind of warm. I'm also wearing a sweatshirt, so that's probably like part of the problem. Okay, we'll do that. And I'll just use this Tired AF. I thought I was gonna have a work sticker, but apparently Tired AF was the move. So we'll just trim her. And then do Tired and AF, which is pretty much how I come by default is Tired AF. On Thursday, Nick and I went to our storage unit, which basically has just stuff that we've never used since moving here. And we're trying to get rid of it all because we have no use for it. Um, so we went to the storage unit and we're like, we basically we needed to get anything that like we wanted out of it. So Nick took a bunch of like old, like computer parts and stuff. And I took like one box of Christmas stuff. I don't know, not, not much. And then Nick and I, um, just kind of did a bunch of different things. We, let me see what I want to do with this actually first. I'm just gonna use this for this. Um, 
We went to Taco Bell, Hobby Lobby, Velvet Taco, Juice Land, pick up Theo from his summer camp. Um, and then I put in after, but I'm not going to put it in, that I took a nap, read, and then passed out, like, during napish time. Um, but for running errands with Nick, I think I'm going to go ahead and just grab, like, a Nick sticker. I love Nick. He's just sweet boy most of the time when he's not annoying me. All right, let's do this. For running errands. I really like the way that, book, that box looks when it's like square like that. I'm just going to use a with Nick script for doing the errands and things. Uh, later on in the day, I think I was like, I took that nap and then I was super tired. I was like kind of almost going through another little tired phase. I feel like I go through these sometimes. Um, but I was supposed to cook dinner. I feel like I've been like for the past like year, been like really good about cooking dinner. But every once in a while your girl falls off and I'm like, you know what, instead of beating myself up, we're just going to get McDonald's a call today. And the thing is, is my kids act like McDonald's is like a five-star meal and everything that I personally make for the most part, they're like, sure. Um, but anyways, so we got Donald's for dinner and then, um, did take a little bathy poo. Mostly just red, if I'm being honest with you. And then afterwards, I did finish. Um, let's see. I think I finished two books. Yeah. Well, I finished a book and then I read a graphic novel. So we're going to go ahead and put that in. I think I'm just going to go ahead and grab like a bigger box and then just put both of them in there. Or maybe not such a big box. Maybe like this size box. Yeah, that's perfect. So I'm going to put in a little, huh. let's just see kind of, I just want to literally just like put them in. So I finished, well, I finished novel love story and then I also read this graphic novel called Boyfriends Volume 1. It was very, very cute and I loved the art style like so much. It was ridiculous. And then Friday, I did have a hair appointment. So let's go ahead and plop that in. It took up a good amount of time to get my hair did. I think this is the day that I might have cut my hair, I think. No, I think my hair has been short for longer than that. Um, I think I might cut my hair my last appointment. I don't really remember. But I did start reading Heartless Hunter at this hair appointment and y'all I don't know I'm like thinking the Heartless Hunter might end up being my book of the year it's right now between that and the seven year slip but I feel like I have a more like visceral I think visceral is the right word reaction to Heartless Hunter but also Once Upon a Broken Heart is also up there but I feel like the problem with Once Upon a Broken Heart is I read book two and I didn't like book two as much as I liked book one so I feel like that is like kind of um, making the first one like not as in the running for book of the year for me. So, yeah. I don't know. But like Heartless Hunter, like it like changed, I feel like the my like biology. Does that make sense? Like but uh, um, I don't know. So I feel like here's my thing with like, here's like, let's just talk for a second, okay? Um, I am, um, hold on, hold please. I have this thing and I don't, I wanna know actually if anyone else has this thing where I feel like for, when it comes to romance books, whenever I'm reading them, and then I go, okay, this is five star. I, I, I could tell you everything about the book, right? The, what, we're talking romance, okay? But whenever I, let's say like two weeks later, if you ask me what the main character's name was, if you ask me the general premise, like I could probably give you one sentence and that's it. I can't tell you anything else. But when it comes to fantasy, I am like, I remember, not everything, obviously, because I'm just not that smart, but um, I, like, 
I remember way more. I remember my feelings I had. I remember the things that I was like into, blah, blah, blah. And I feel like that's why, like I'm kind of considering my book of the year being Heartless Hunter at this point because I feel like I think about it all the time and I'm like, oh my God, I recommend it to everyone. I recommended it to Jessica and she was like, oh my God, I gotta read it right now. And then she, she was reading it. She was like literally sending me voice memos like, oh my God, this is so good. And I was like, literally, literally, it is so good. Like it is so freaking good and I cannot wait for the next one to come out. And I have like mixed feelings about it being a, um, I wish I had a just like a Chris and Hannah sticker, but I do not. Um, oh, I could kind of cut them, but I don't want to cut them. Um, I have like mixed feelings about it being. I wanted to like put this in here, but like it doesn't really work for like what I want, so I'm just gonna put it on the thing. Um, I had gnocchi. I'm trying to think and like talk at the same time and I'm not good at it. Okay. Oh, where's the general food? Let's just do this. All right. So anyways, that's where I'm at right now is I really, really loved the seven year slip, but like I couldn't tell you many plot points. But when it comes to Heartless Hunter, I'm like, wow, I could tell you so many things. And I just, it's a duology. The where I was going with that is I have mixed feelings about a being a duology one I want there to be more but two like I'm excited because I feel like it's not gonna have that moment of being like oh my god this is taking forever like with 17 books like you know what I mean so I'm excited for the second one to come out and I'm definitely probably gonna read that like on release day like I always say that but I'm like actually going to so anyways actually I could do this speaking to here for game night and I'm just kind of squishing over a little bit okay so then, um, so I read, I read a bunch during that hair appointment and I was like so into it. It was like everything. Then I had to edit the night shift, um, how, or playthrough. And that was giving me mad stressors because I filmed it like dual camera and one of them was the wrong frame rate. So I edited the whole thing and then was like, this doesn't really work. So I had to re-edit it. Then we went, um, us, the Zayshas, and like all my children went to out to eat at Tony and Luigi's together. It was Chris's first time there. And then we had a little four play -a game night. Um, which I think it was because like maybe Tony had family in town or something. I don't really remember. Um, on Saturday, we got our like weekend McDonald's, which basically is a highlight of the weekend is getting some McDonald's breakfast. And then, um, so Nick usually goes and picks that up and then I make eggs at home because I just think McDonald's, it kind of freaked me out. And also they're expensive for what they are. So um, got McDonald's and then we went to the pool like pretty early actually. Um, the kids did not have swim lessons this week, but we were just like wanted to go to the pool. So we went pretty early and it wasn't like, is this the right color? Yeah, just like extra blue. Um, the kids wanted to go to the pool. They didn't have swim lessons because I think their swim instructor was like on vacation or something. Um, but we went and it wasn't like super sunny. So the pool was like super dead, which was nice because no one likes a busy pool. So went to the pool and then I came home and napped. I haven't taken a nap in a while, actually, thank goodness, because I'm on a double coffee a day kind of thing, girl. So I took a nap. So for my nap, I'm just going to go into my sleep section because kind of all of sleep stickers on my doodle sheet. And I'm going to do a little eye mask, I think. That would be cute. This is number 728 for my nap. And then I just hung out with the fam. Um, <clears throat> and then my in-laws came over because usually they come over on Sundays, but we like move game night and stuff. And I think they were leaving the next day. Maybe they've been gone for so long. They went on like basically a East coast tour to see all of their children. So they've been gone for like a month. Um, 
So I think they came over this day because I think they, or no, maybe they left the next week. I don't know why they came over this day. Usually they come over on Sunday. I don't know. I think maybe we were supposed to have the game night on Sunday, but then they were already coming over this day to film for night shift. So like we switched around. I don't really know. But we were just um, hanging out with said fam um, prior to them coming over. And then I made lasagna because Theo um, has been like asking for lasagna ever since they all went to see Garfield. So um, yeah, I made lasagna because you gotta do what you gotta do make some lasagna and I love lasagna the kids love lasagna we actually had a bunch left over um so I ended up sending some over to the neighbors so when I say some like literally like half of it because it's just like you can't make a small lasagna and then like at the set some point also lasagna does reheat well but whenever I think Nick was like giving Tony coffee or something um and they have two kids as well so I was like hey like ask them if they want lasagna because I'll just send them over the rest of it um, because I'm the only person really that likes eating leftovers in this house unless I can somehow make the leftovers different. Like I made spaghetti and meatballs this week and then I'm waiting two days and then I'm going to make meatball hoagies like as a dinner. So it's like kind of like a different dinner, but the same dinner. Does that make sense? I'm the only one who will eat leftovers otherwise. So anyways, I didn't want to eat that much lasagna. So I was like, let's see if they want it. And, um, Tony's wife Marty, I don't think she really cares if I say her name on the internet. She sent me a picture of their kiddo eating it and she was like, I need your recipe. She's on her second dosing. And I'm like, y'all, I'm telling you, it's good stuff. I love lasagna, like a lot. I was thinking about it the other day and I, um, I'm, I think I'm like a little Italian. I really want to do the like 23 and me thing, but Nick's like very against it. Um, anyways, so... I'm like some Italian, but my stepmother family is Italian. And so like I grew up Italian, if that makes sense. But we had like pasta every single Sunday. Like it was red sauce night, y'all. Um, and I would be like, ugh, God, more red sauce. I'm so excited. Not really. Um, but now I like crave red sauce. And I'm like, all I want is a red sauce meal. And, like, my kids love spaghetti and any, any kind. Any kind of spaghetti, my kids love it. Any kind of red sauce, my kids love it. So, anytime I can make some kind of, like, lasagna, ravioli, chicken parm, any, anything, even just, like, bolognese, I'm doing it. I just love red sauce. Um, but, yeah, I used to complain about it all the time. I'd be like, I don't want more pasta. Every holiday, every birthday, pasta, pasta. Um, but now I'm like, please, yes, give me pasta. Um, so then I did just do some little cutie me time in the PM because Nick was gaming with his friends. So I just read, took a bath and went to bed early because I'm only staying up for him. If I'm being honest with you, would you just text me right now? Okay. He wants me to forward something to my friend Amanda. It's Amanda's birthday today. Happy birthday, man, if you're watching, but I don't think you do. And I love you anyways. All right. On Sunday, I was up at 4 a.m. And I have this thing. I think 4 a.m. It, like, it gets earlier and earlier with age. Um, is that I... Um, if, if I wake up at a certain time, I'm just staying up. It used to be six. Now it's four. If I wake up at four, I'm just not going back to sleep because I feel like poo poo if I go back to sleep. Like I'd rather just be tired from like 3 p.m. on, like just generally tired and go to bed early um, than go back to bed at four o'clock in the morning. So I ate some cereal and then I edited a video. And by the time I was done with that, that was that. Oh, actually I might've went back to sleep and slept in. I lied. This was a weird day. Well, I think next week I woke up early and just stayed up. But this day I think I edited a video, ate some cereal, and then went back to sleep. It probably didn't feel good. And that's why I slept in. I'm a liar. I'm really a liar. Okay. So for sleeping, going back to bed. Oh, this is actually funny. Let's use this. This is me. This is my conscience being like, Andrea, back to bed. Okay. I'm still very 
disgusting. I'm sorry about it, but it's just the way the cookie's crumbling. I'm on day like a bazillion, so I think I technically got sick or like first started feeling woozy Friday. So it's been, tomorrow will be seven days. Probably gonna retest on Saturday. I'm probably negative. I'm just disgusting. Like, oh, I'm disgusting, you know what I mean? Anyways, um, so did that and then uh, it was a very chill day with the fam. Um, we just kind of hung out and just did our normal stuff of not much, just hanging. But you know what? I kind of like those days. I'm gonna use a little um, paper shire digital thing. Hanging with the fam, doing the fam things. And then I did take a nap during nap time. I did burp, so excuse me. Not used to it. Say, excuse me, I'm just normally a, a burper. All right. During nap time. Your girl napped. So, but anyways, yeah. It used to be in the morning, if I woke up at six, I would stay up, but now it's like if I wake up at four, for the most part, I stay up. And I just drink extra coffee. Took a nap. And then this day, which this is when you know I was really into the book, I did finish Heartless Hunter this day, which was so good. Six out of 10, amazingness, obsessed, perfect, Sean, loved it. Um, to give you a unspoiler review quickly, or just like some tropes in case you're wondering, should I read it? It is a enemies to lovers, to enemies to lovers, to enemies to lovers, to enemies to lovers, dual point of view with, it's basically witch and witch hunter. Like it was so good, so juicy. I loved it. I recommend it. It is so far book of the year, I think, in my opinion. I haven't decided. I just feel like I loved Seven Year Slip. Seven Year Slip is a book I probably would reread eventually. And then I'm like, maybe it was that Seven Year Slip was surrounded by bad books. I don't really know. And then I also read this graphic novel called Us. I think I gave it like a four. I don't really remember. It was cute. Oh, I was like, what is all of this? But it's a baby's gotta do what a baby's gotta do. And I wanted to put it on something, but I don't know where exactly this ginormous thing. Maybe I could just like cut it in half and then put it over the full box. Cause I do, I do just love that. I love Rugrats. Rugrats was like my whole wide childhood. Hmm. Baby's gotta do what a baby's gotta do. Just, just love Rugrats. Perf. It's a little crooked, but pish posh. Okay, so let's zoom out. It's looking fantastic. Look how cute that is. It's like annoying how cute it is. I love the colors. I love everything about it. Okay, so I don't, I feel like I've lost some things since filming. Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, I guess this is all my leftovers. I feel like there should be more, but I'm also not sure. So, all right, I'm gonna show you what's going in the D stash. Okay, D stash, 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 D stash. You know, same difference. So I'll actually go to the D stash. Okay, she's going in the D stash. This is the spread. I think it looks really cute. You wanna see my reading journal I've been working on? I'm so proud of it, and I wanna show you. Where is she? Where'd she go? Okay. Let me show you. This will be a little, uh, you stayed till the end, you're gonna see the reading journal. Um, if you made it to the end and you're seeing my reading journal, leave me a little pink emoji down below. Okay, ready? I'm gonna give you a little flip through. And then I'm probably gonna do like a formal one once I get a little bit further. Okay, front page. Where'd my phone go? There it is. All right, let me show you something. All right, I found these glitter pens. Can you see? You see, they're clear glitter pens. So studio lights hate glitter and foil and stuff, but like any other light that I'm in is, I'm obsessed with it. I like, let's show you a little closer. I just kind of like outline things and like put glitter on stuff. But anyways, there's glitter throughout, but you won't see it. I'm just gonna flip, you know? All right, so we got my front page, got this page. A lot of these stickers, like these ones are Bloomsicle. Um, 
I will be coming out with sticker sheets next week, um, along with like these ones and stuff. Like they'll be coming. Swatches. If they're not from my shop or coming to my shop, I'll let you know. Yearly goals, rating system, monthly favorites, book of the year. I need to grab another one of these sheets because I want to like put some through in the middle, I think. Series tracker, a book club. And with little kisses because I thought that like most of what we read is romance. And then um, I went on the series tracker kind of witchy because I thought that that was kind of good because most of my like is like fantasy for series. Then the alphabet reading challenge. I only have a couple of letters left, which is really fun. Rainbow reading challenge. Book tracker. Again, everything that you've seen so far is from my shop. Um, five star reads. I'm gonna do a genre tracker over here. I took up the actual, these stickers, which they remove so easily if you change your mind. And I also redid this one twice because I used the wrong pen. Um, but yeah, I'm obsessed with this one with the stars and clouds and stuff on. I think it looks very cute. Genre tracker's coming soon. Then we go into January reads. Um, this is not from my shop. This is just fan art that I printed out and pasted. And then these are not from my shop. They are from a shop called Abigail M Arts on Etsy. Everything else from my shop. Um, February reads. This here, this um, border is not from my shop. It is from a sticker book from, um, I think this is from Hobby Lobby. It's the recollection, or it's from Michael's maybe actually. But I like, these are cute. Um, these stickers, these like mm, early 2000s note taking kind of thing, note passing situation are from Pip Sticks. Everything else from my shop on the side. This is fan art, oh, sorry. These are fan art, these three. And then these flowers, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one are in the uh, butterfly are from this book as well. Um, <clears throat> and then we're going to March reads. I'm going to do a lemon theme. I'm going to work on this today, I think. And there's glitter throughout. And then I have, I'm going to do a full Magnolia Parks spread, um, which reading through all of this, like all these quotes and things, this is all fan art down here. Um, Reading in all of these, like, these are coming to the shop, um, are just fan art from, like, Pinterest or the internet in general. If you have, like, a favorite fan art website, let me know because I am obsessed with fan art and, like, fan casting and all the things. Um, and then we have April Rage, so I'm going to do, like, a succulent theme because a lot of the books, like, kind of lean, like, greener and, like, bluer. And then that's all I have so far. But I am, like, literally obsessed like you have no idea so for a little preview um I don't know my favorite pages I really like the front page which this is just the two sticker sheets that I um I'm gonna put up I think I might have like one or two stickers that didn't make it on it but like otherwise this is two full sticker sheets and this is just a couple sticker sheets from the artist page the strawberry page the I think it's called gemstones or crystals um there's like a witchy one kisses this is like gummy um Gummy candies, book page, the clouds page, floral one, I believe, or floral two. These are, this is floral one or floral two. I think this is floral two and it was floral one. But yeah, I'm obsessed. I just love it. I think it's so fun and I just love flipping through her. Yeah, what we're talking about here. It's hard times. So that's everything. Love you. Talk to you later. Bye.